still dark outside and um, we're heading out. We're currently in Bedouin um, and we're going up Mont Bontu. Um, we're gonna try and get up to the lunar landscape uh, for sunrise and try and get a lovely bit of cycling um, in golden hour. Um, we're gonna see, see how many times we do it today. How's it feeling, John? Feeling good. A bit apprehensive, but feeling good. We're well on our way at Vontu in the forest section on our first ascent. Trees are thinning and the sky is getting lighter. Uh, it's beautiful up here. Oh, just trying to keep the watts down. Well, John's trying to tell me to keep the watts down. Feeling. just been seeing glimpses of the summit through the trees and the cloud is just leaving the tower at the top um, looks pretty majestic uh, we're getting there what do you think of the road surface compared to Northumberland John well smooth <laughs> not as grippy <laughs> just the elevation We are now on our second descent of Mont Bontu. We've descended into Molsine and now climbing back to the top. Uh, it's a bit cold, like to begin with. Then as we got lower altitude, started to warm up a bit more, uh, which was nice. Uh, but I've lost my drone in the wind. Uh, it got lost signal and uh, I don't know where it is, bit of a bummer but such is life, been an expensive morning. So there's, there's bins all the way up. Uh, Von two, and they've got a bit of a, a camber all the way around the rim of the bin so that there's a bit of a chute so if you're cycling past you can just chuck your rubbish off when you're riding along and it'll just spiral into the, into the bin which is pretty cool.
we're now on our third descent of Mont Ventoux. Uh, we're going up from Salt, arguably the longer side, but least most gradual, I've been told. Um, definitely the longest. Definitely the longest. What was it, 26k? Yeah. Uh, so, once we've done that, we'll descend back into Bedouin, jump in a pool, have some watermelon. We've just passed Chalet Reynard for the last time, going uphill. Now it's just 6k to the summit. Now finished all the ascents of Mont Ventoux. Now I'm just done here in the scree, uh, trying to look for my drone. Uh, a bit sad, um, and it's a bit difficult to to make it out as all the rocks look like drones. Um, is what it is, I suppose. Yesterday, me and John rode the three road ascents of Mont Ventoux, and today we're going up the gravel ascent. Uh, pretty rocky, let some air out of the tyres, uh, but it feels good to be climbing again. Come out to France with gravel bikes, so I'm on the revolt. Um, giant. Um, so it seemed a waste to not come up on the gravel at one two, considering we rode all the road sections on gravel bikes, making it a bit tougher for ourselves. But it seems worth it now. We're doing a bit, going a bit of an adventure, a bit of an off-piste, less, less ridden route at one two. Something a bit different. lots of evidence of really old tarmac that's just been broken away um it's just turned into gravel and so a few motor style motorway crash barriers so i'm assuming this used to be a road route at mont Ventoux that's now in uh disuse disrepair I'm just wondering if the if anyone knows if the, the tour ever came up here We finished on the gravel road and now it's the rest of the way to the summit is on tarmac, nice and fast.
I've now descended uh, back down Mont Ventoux. I spent another little bit of time uh, trying to find my drone. I had no luck finding the DJI Mavic Mini, but I did find another FPV drone. So some, it's obviously quite a common thing to crash up there um, or lose your drone. Um, bit of like a, a drone graveyard at Mont Bontu. I'm now heading back to Cycling Coffee Society, the villa we've been staying at. Um, and then we're heading north and doing some more rides.